Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar and in this episode we're going to continue with the strip down of this 2.7T donor car and I think we're going to start by removing the prop shaft. Well, it looks like I've got a nice sunny day, finally. But it's been non-stop raining for about a month now. And this thing is filling up with water. I think any more rain and I'll be able to go fishing in this thing. Right, let's get the mat under there. And we'll take a look at that prop shaft. So there's the differential and here's the beginning of the prop shaft which then goes inside this aluminium shielding runs along here and then it looks like it connects into there right I think I'll start by removing this uh, aluminium shielding all right there's a series of nuts, uh, one there, I think you can see it just in camera, and there's one either side all the way along, and I think, uh, I think they're M10. We've got a series of hex head bolts here, and it looks like they're H6s. So we'll just undo these. To get to the other side of the prop shaft, I have to remove this shield here. There's a couple of bolts either side and it looks like they're torqued bolts. With the shield removed I can now undo these bolts. Before I remove the prop shaft, I'm going to leave it in place so I can use the engine and gearbox like a brake and hold the rear drive shafts in place so I can remove these. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these shields so I can get this out of the way and then I can loosen 
the uh, bolts that hold the rear drive shafts in place and I think I'll do that now so they're nice and loose for when I strip the rear end of this car down. I've removed the shield, so now I can gain access to these bolts here. So I'm going to loosen them now. So these drive shafts will be ready to be removed when I strip down this rear subframe. Right, I've just got to uh, jack the car up a little bit so I can turn the wheel around 180 degrees. That will turn the CV joint around so I can get to the uh, bolts that are on the top of the CV joint and I can put them at the bottom and I can get to them with the spanner ratchet. Not making any sense am I? <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. So here's the end of the prop shaft that goes into the differential. Now these two bolts I couldn't get to because they were up here. So that was the reason I had to jack the car up, rotate the wheel around about 180 degrees and then this is now at the bottom so I can get my ratchet in there. All makes sense now doesn't it? So the bolts on the prop shaft are now all loose, all of them both front and back. Um, that drive shaft, they're all loose. It's just I've got two more bolts on this drive shaft to undo. So I'm just going to jack this up a little bit, turn the wheel around, drop it back down and undo those two bolts. And then I think I can take the uh, prop shaft out. Just these two bolts left and this drive shaft is ready to be removed. Right, these are all loose now, so we should be able to finish these off, take them out. Just these to do now. There's just two nuts here that's holding in this brace where the centre of the prop shaft is. I think if I undo these, the whole thing should just drop down.
Well this thing is seized in place. Now I would get a little bit of heat onto it but obviously we've got a plastic fuel tank here so I don't think that's a good idea to get a flame in here and uh, try and unseize this prop shaft. So I think what I'll do is I'll drop the differential down and then try and separate this prop shaft and diff off the car. The drive shaft CV bolts are all nice and loose now so I should be able to just undo them and all being well fingers crossed this drive shaft should come away. If we take a look at the mounting points for the diff, we'll find that there's two Allen bolts here, and at the rear of the diff, there are a couple of bolts in there. See so if it focuses, come on, there we go. It focuses one there, and then of course there's one on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen all of those, and see if I can drop this diff down. Okay, the uh, diff is now supported by the jack, and all I've got to do, yeah, all I've got to do, <laughs> is uh, pull out these bolts, and hopefully, it should just be supported by the jack, and then I can lower it down. Let's drop this diff down. Oh, that's not going to come easy. I'm going to have to get the spare part onto it. That looks like fun. Oh, great. Well, if you take a look at that, all of these CV joints are seized. Normally they uh, pop out when you drop the diff down, but uh, no, this is turning out to be a nightmare. Thank you. 
Well, it's out, finally. Now that was a ball ache. Unfortunately, uh, I did try and film it for you, but the uh, camera went flying, so I didn't get any footage of that. But it is out. Gah! This job is not easy if you're gonna do it on your driveway on axle stands or ramps. Not easy at all, but it's done. Whew. So, we got the diff out. I think I can sell this. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with it, just needs a good clean up. Like I say, it's a 2.7T rear differential, and I'm pretty sure this is the same as the uh, RS4. We've got two drive shafts, these are the rear drive shafts. They look okay for mock up. Um, I'll be using these on the turbo build, or may, might be using them, we'll see. Now we've got the prop shaft. Unfortunately, um, we've got a bit of a casualty. The um, CV joint exploded while I was trying to pull it off, so this prop shaft is uh, no good, it's dead weight, so it'll just be scrapped. I don't think it's really worth anything anyway, so, uh, but anyway, this lot is out, and with all the filming and all the struggling and all that, it's taken two days to do all this. Anyway, I'm going to call it an episode, these are out, so in the next episode I'll be pulling out the um, fuel pump, fuel lines, that sort of stuff, handbrakes got to come out, and we'll carry on with the strip down of this 2.7 twin turbo donor car. So until then... Bye for now.